is the concern about his security on his way from Makiri to Freetown. And then the second one are the concern about the security and accommodation and ferry tunnel. Then, of course, if you want for say well, tomorrow or Friday, I get appointments with people. So I will do the appointment. I come back on Saturday. I said, well, it's not possible. Yeah. You have to travel on that same day. He called me. I talked to him directly. Direct. I talked to a lawyer, Joseph Fitzgerald. I said, tell your client he has to try to travel today. Tomorrow, 10 o'clock, he should be in my office. It's a good one. He traveled. When he left, he called me. He said, IG, I don't left. You colleague on this side or your officer on this side, the AIG, you do well for me, provide adequate security for me. I see now you are assured of adequate security also at your accommodation. So right there, I deploy. Because it's a push attack when somebody else say, I'm not comfortable moving around with my own security voice. I want security from your side. I have responsibility. That means as it is so, I'm responsible for security at any point in time. As the CID now to go back my house, I have to escort him and I'm deployed there at his accommodation to make sure nothing will happen to him. So he come, the next day we go to CID, I meet the lawyer, Chris Jura. The first thing he tell me, IG, how would you bail for this man? He started asking for bail. Even before the man was in my office, he was asking for bail. I said, no, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So he sure, sure, we start the procedure. In time you start, we we'll do statements for some time. We we'll end up for terminate because the, uh, the former president said he needs to go take him medication and take him lunch. I said, fine, we are not in a hurry. We can go on for as long as we can. You go, next day come on a Saturday, we we'll do the same thing. We we'll do the same thing. That's why now, you know, we look at See that statesman with again that respect. There are other people who will investigate for the same uh, attempted coup. They never said, We cannot put you in cell, so we are going to grant you bail for with certain conditions. We sat with the lawyer, Lance and the lawyer, and they called me because no one panel would deny except his lawyers. Jan Sane was there, Ambassador Sane. Nikari Masare, those are the chair and the deputy chair, and of course the head of CID. We agreed. We agreed in the first place. They asked for the man to be visited by selected number of people from his party and from his legal team. We agreed on those names. We wrote them down. Then we also say, we don't really put ourselves in the but let him be in this house. If he has to move, from his house to any other place, it has to be declared that that is a big condition. They accepted that condition also. Then they said, if you want to see doctor, yes. We are all human beings. Whatever we do in the SLP, we give it to human beings, yes. If you want to see doctors, you will see doctors. Immediate family, yes. We became immediate staff. And we agreed, all of us, we agreed to that one. 